Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. US equities finished higher in Thursday trading, near best levels after reversing a big decline from right after the open. This included the Dow Jones surging 1,500 points from peak to trough as traders shook off another hot inflation report. Stocks fell to session lows when the September consumer inflation report showed a larger than expected increase. The CPI increased 0.4% for the month, more than the 0.3% estimate from Dow Jones. On an annual basis, inflation was up 8.2%. The data indicated prices continued to climb at a brutally rapid pace in September, with the key inflation index increasing at the fastest pace in 40 years. Bad news for the Fed Reserve as it struggles to wrestle the cost of living back under control. The inflation data has almost increased the certainty of another three-quarter percent rate rise in November. This confirmation helped markets rally off their lows. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 2.8 percent after being down more than 500 points earlier in the day. The S&P 500 climbed 2.6 per cent, breaking a six-day losing streak. The Nasdaq Composite gained 2.2 per cent. Across the sectors, gains in energy and bank stocks led the rebound. Shares of Chevron gained 5 per cent as oil prices spiked and bank stocks Goldman Sachs rose 4 per cent and JP Morgan 5.5 per cent. A reversal in big tech names such as Apple and Microsoft and a surge in semiconductors, NVIDIA and Qualcomm also contributed to the move higher. In semiconductor news, Samsung Electronics has been given a one-year exemption from US restrictions on exports of chip equipment to China. The move suggests the Biden administration is giving relief to American allies from the new rules which are roiling the industry. The energy sector continues to attract investors with dividend yields, low valuations and capital management initiatives like share buybacks. A decade ago, the Euro stocks oil and gas index traded at 10 times forward earnings. It is now at five times, at least in part because fossil fuels are widely perceived as on their way out of the energy mix. Oil companies read low valuations as a signal to reduce investments in all but the very best new oil fields. Indeed, their capital expenditure has fallen a third over the past decade. As a result, their cash flows are now becoming a haven for investors. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has strengthened slightly to the US dollar yesterday, buying 62.95 US cents. On the commodities front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 1.4% fall. Oil shed 0.4%, silver fell 0.6%, copper added 1.1% and oil gained 2.2%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 1.7% gain. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great weekend.